Hey guys, so we're going to be working on the forgot password controller today. So we're actually going to be writing out the mutation that sends to the server for that. And we're going to be copying the register controller, pretty much the flow of how we did it for this. So I'm going to first start by creating a folder inside of the controller package and under modules. I'm going to call this forgot password controller. And I'm just going to copy the index that we use for the register controller and paste that into forgot password. And we're just going to change this up a little bit. So the first thing I want to do is come down to the bottom and update the register mutation. So we want to call a forgot password mutation. So I'm going to rename this. And then we're going to get rid of what's inside of here. And we're going to write a new one. Now I recommend going over to localhost 4000 and writing out the mutation. I went ahead and already did it. Um, you get nice auto completion this way. So the mutation that we want to run is this uh, send forgot password email. And then we just have one variable, an email, which is a string, and that's who we're going to send it to. And then don't forget to give your uh, query a name or your mutation a name because we need that to generate the TypeScript type for it. Now before we go any farther, I want to generate the types or the TypeScript types for this mutation. That way we can use it, for example, here and all over the place. So in our package.json, we added a gen types. So make sure you're in the controller package and you can run yarn gen types. Now, if you did what I did yesterday and you removed Apollo code gen, then you're gonna get an error like this. So I didn't realize that the Apollo CLI needs Apollo code gen as a separate package you add. So if you did that yesterday, uh, like me, make sure you add it back. So we're gonna add Apollo code gen back as a dev dependency. Um, I had no idea it actually uses it I mean, I knew it used it under the hood. I didn't know we had to install it as a separate package, though. That's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, we'll let this install, and then we'll rerun gen types. All right, so that finished running. I'm going to do yarn gen types again, and it should be able to build and uh, generate the types no problem now. So it's going to update the schema types file. If we wanted to, you could come over here, and you could look for the uh, mutation it added. should be forgot password. So here's our one, and we're just going to be using this. So let's go ahead and rename this forgot password controller. And let's go ahead and update this. So we're going to be using forgot password mutation, or I guess um, it's going to be called send forgot password mutation because that's what I named it here. And send forgot variables. Um, and then we're going to pass in our mutation, which is forgot password mutation. And here's our component. And we just need to change our component up here so that it uses different um, things. So again, we're just going to be using the, those two types we just created. So send forgot password, um, mutation, and variables. Um, and then for our props, uh, our values should be a email and uh, we can just rename this to use the forget uh, send the variables right that we used here so I can just copy that um, and then for this we're not really going to be sending back errors so I can just get rid of that we're really just going to send null back maybe in the future we'll have some errors with this but really if someone puts in a bad email you don't want to tell them that email doesn't exist in your database all right, so here's our submit. We need to change our our values right here. So we're going to be using that same variable. Um, and then here, we don't really care about the response from the server. We're fine console logging this. Um, we, we could console log the response if we wanted to. So I'm going to say const response. But it should just say OK. And we'll get rid of this part. Um, and our controller is good. We can get rid of these things we're not going to use anymore. Uh, but basically, we're just calling that mutation, passing in uh, the email, and that's all we need to do. And we don't really need to send back any errors or anything, so I think this is good to go. We can go ahead and now enter index.typescript, export it. So, forgot password controller. And now we can just do yarn build uh, to build the code. 
Now, if we were to run this, it's not actually going to send an email right now. And the reason for that is because we need to make some changes in our server. So our server modules uh, under user, forgot password. We're gonna come over to the resolver for that. So I left basically two to-dos for this um, that we need to update uh, now that we know how our front end works. So the first is we need to uh, pass in the URL. And so for that, that is a environment variable. So I can just say, I think I call it front end. If I look at the env example, yep, I call it front end host. So I'm gonna copy that, paste it in. And I'm just gonna say as string. Uh, the reason I'm casting this to a string right here is because this could be undefined. So if I hover over this, you can see the type. So it's either a string or it's undefined. Well, we can't pass undefined to this function. And I know that I've defined this, so I'm just going to pass it as a string. Um, and the second one is to actually send an email after we generate this link. Um, so we'll do that in one second. I wanna first just comment out this. So part of the forgot password that I created earlier is we would lock the account. I'm not gonna do that for this. I don't think the locking account is actually a great idea. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and then here we're, we, for testing purposes and stuff, we were sending back an error code that we couldn't find the, the email in our database. Um, this is not something I actually want to display to the user. So I'm just gonna comment that out and say return okay. Now, if we actually do find a user, that's when we actually wanna send an email. And if we look at what we're using for our register, for example, we're gonna use that same function so we said send email um, and just pass in the link that we want the user to go to. Uh, so we'll do that. So I'm gonna say, and we can call this const link, or this will be a, we could call it URL for example. And we're gonna say await send email, pass in, oh yeah, we need to send the email, so that's email and then URL. Now, send email you may want to update so right now it kind of just has hard coded that it's confirm email what we could do is we could have a third field that says like link text um, so link text it's a string honestly you probably want to make two different templates for this if you wanted to I'm just gonna keep it real simple though uh, so I'm gonna say link text and now when we call this I'm gonna say reset password and then we need to update our register resolver because it's also using this so I'm gonna say um, update not update we'll say confirm email that's what we have before um, it's only expecting two. I, I just updated it though um, it has three variables here there we go. It looks like TypeScript was just being slow to uh, realize that I changed that. All right, so I think this is good now and we should actually send an email. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this and uh, I'll keep these commented out for now. Let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm gonna save this and we should get in our log for the server. Um, let's make sure it starts up and it works okay. I think I have to get rid of these. So I just got rid of some things that I'm not using anymore for the imports, and I think we're good over there as well. Um, and we'll let the server restart, and then I wanna make sure also the front end. All right, so the front end, I need to restart. And let's see if the server's back up. Okay, so the server's back up and running okay. Um, this is gonna start up in a second, and then we'll actually send a uh, email to the user. All right, so finish refreshing. Now, if I actually did type an email in and hit reset password, it's actually not gonna do anything. That's because we haven't actually called our controller yet. So let's do that real quick. I forgot about that. So it's gonna be inside of our web and our connector over here. We just need to, um, oh wow, this got real messed up. I didn't even realize that I messed up the path for this. Well, let's change that real quick. There we go. So this, this should be dot slash UI slash forgot password view because it's right here. Um, 
All right, so we're gonna import the controller that we just made, and that's from the controller package. So this is going to be forgot password, and I don't even see it in this list. So let's double check that the build actually worked. Um, build worked, and when this happens, there's a few things that I check. So we exported it correctly. I want to make sure I'm also exporting over here and I gave it a good name. So yep, so I said forgot password controller. I think from this end it really should have updated. So I'm guessing that uh, the TypeScript over here just has not actually uh, updated. So in this case, whenever this happens, if I just say restart TypeScript server, um, that usually does it. And then I can say forgot password controller, what TypeScript, see if it can find it now. But we can go ahead and still type it out and call it. So forgot password controller. And I'm gonna wrap this in parentheses. Now it is a function, so we'll return. And we're gonna get submit from it. And we're gonna pass submit in. So same thing we did for all the other controllers. And I'm gonna get rid of dummy. And if I hover, looks like it was able to find the component. Okay, so now we've added that. Now it really should submit it. So let's open up our console and we can see this all happening. So we do have a user called Bob, but if for example, I have some random user, so this is a password or email that doesn't exist. If I reset, it's gonna tell me it's true. But if we come look at our log, um, we don't see that an email was sent, so that's good. But if I actually do this for an email that it you know, is in our database, so this is in my database right now. If I reset it, it says true back as well. Um, and okay, so at least tried to send the email, but it looks like uh, something went wrong. Uh, I got error occurred, certificate has expired. Oh, so I'm curious, I, I wonder if it's just because of my username and password. Um, I'm guessing it's because if I come over here to, oops. Uh, send email. I'm guessing it's because my email and my password have expired. So I need to pick a new uh, email and password. So I didn't realize it actually uh, expired very quickly. So if I come over here to Ethereal, I'll create a new account and we'll copy it in. So uh, maybe I'll go back and change this to where we did create an email account and a password on every email send that way I don't have to go up and update this every time all right we'll let that reset so that Bob should have sent an email so we'll try this again but uh, I think I might revert the code back so we actually just create a test account every time that way I don't have to worry about doing that all right so it reset I'll call it again um, and the certificate has expired, even though I just created a, a user right here. All right, let's try uh, this before. Create test account. And we're just gonna wrap our function. And I guess uh, since we're doing it like this, so I have to wrap this whole function in this create test. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the transporter here and replace our transporter with that. So say const. And looks like it just has a uh, problem with errors. So I'm gonna say error, error one, and we can console.log error one if it exists. So if we have trouble creating the account. And we'll see if this don't have any TypeScript errors. I think they all went away. We can go ahead and create um, or reset the password again, see if that works. 
All right, so certificate still has expired. So I'm guessing that node mailer um, is down or is there's something wrong with it. I'll go ahead and end the video here and I'll see if I can figure out what's going on with this error. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.